Welcome back to the Goons Podcast, the number hey. 46 and a half podcast in all of Lake Titicaca. That That's what you put. <laughs> <that? laughs> you know, before, before this podcast, McNasty's like, yo, I got a place. I got a place to say this time. And that's what you <laughs> had. That's what you came up with. I was looking at some place. I found bump ass in Virginia. Like, I found some some nice ones. There's uh, what was it? PP district or whatever. And yeah, that's all PP you township. Yeah. In Ohio. Yeah, PP <laughs> township. I found middle fart in Denmark. Middle fart. <laughs> middle Bro. fart. In Denmark, is that like one word or like two words? One word, middle fart. Middle is that fart. A, fart in the middle. Is that a verb? Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're talking like the SpongeBob people doing the <laughs> in between. I can't, I can't uh, under, understand uh, your you dialect. Do that. Burp. <laughs> uh, ah, great uh. start. <laughs> yeah, so uh, forty-six and a half in Lake Titicaca. All right, yeah. well, keep that in mind. Let's uh, don't don't forget to like it. Let's get us to like at least in the 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 high thirties would be nice. Yeah, like yeah. Lake like for Lake Titicaca. Yeah. If you listen to us in Lake Titicaca, please show your podcast like your grandma or something. We need more views. And tell her the name of the lake too. She'll probably laugh. It's funny. Yeah. But wait. All right. Never mind. <laughs> all right. Can we move on from Titicaca? Is that TOS Titicaca? I don't know about that one. I I I can't imagine we're gonna get demonetized for Titty Caca. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, like we're not we're, we're not uploading this to a preschool website. Like, I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah, and 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 the dude <clears throat> the dude checking this for monetization. It's a town, okay, man. So we're chilling. Is it a town? Yeah, I never it's a real place. At what? I know, I know, it's a real place. Oh, it's in South America. Yeah. Why did I think that was like Texas or something? Yeah, actually, I thought it was in the U.S. too. I don't know. It was in Did South he America. talk about Texas? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a ring to it. I think we shouldn't have meant that. Titty right. caca Tennessee. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on from Titty Caca and I've had enough of that. Alright, I have a question for you guys. Go ahead. <laughs> are, you, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Do we have a second? Okay. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, it's not no, like your transition <laughs> into topic. It's like a Batman yeah, a, transition. Yeah, that was like uh, back <laughs> in the day when, when PewDiePie when PewDiePie used to use that like duck transition. Oh, yeah. The Goons podcast has the fucking <laughs> burp transition all right i have a question for you guys answer um, this is a question a friend of mine and we were walking and we were discussing this and it went on for like half an hour and i genuinely couldn't figure out which one i'd rather have would you guys rather lose your sight or your hearing both Ooh. both <laughs> that's a horrible answer <laughs> 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 all of the above and off <laughs> I just want to role play as I'm sleeping all the time because that's literally what it would be like. There'd be no difference between sleep and like awake. <laughs> yeah, permanent. Is it, I mean, that's pretty simulator. much what Helen Keller was, right? Just dumb or deaf and blind. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> she's she's dumb. Well, I've, I've always heard dumb, <laughs> deaf, and blind, but she, she was dumb because she was deaf and blind. Oh, she was dumb because she couldn't talk. She, it doesn't she mean she was a, actually she, dumb. Well, yeah. She had a degree. She graduated from high school or high school. I Harvard. mean, college. <laughs> yeah, literally Harvard, not just any college. Like she didn't go to like. The University of Phoenix, like you, it was Harvard. How do you graduate Harvard when you can't read or see or s- well? She smell. stuck her she stuck her hand inside the professor's mouth to know what they were saying or some shit like that. She just role played like everybody was a puppet. That would yeah. not work out in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gets shot in the head if it was like COVID time back then. <laughs> I'm surprised I mean, she got shot in the head she... back then. How do you get away with that? You just finger <laughs> somebody's she, throat. Was she alive? Um, Helen Keller. Wow, that's actually bad. I've Googled Helen Keller before. Okay, so she was she was alive for the uh, the the Spanish flu. So I'm surprised that nobody just like put a gun between her eyes during that when she was trying to finger fuck their mouth. Yeah, really. <laughs> during a, during a, a pandemic in what was that 1918? Yeah, you think anti maskers are bad? Imagine having Helen Keller in a in a Walmart trying to figure out what you're saying to her. <laughs> yeah, just asking you where the beans are and stick your finger or stick her finger in your mouth trying to find the answer. That'd be horrible. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, I feel like I'd rather go with hearing because I feel like if you lose sight, it's actually just like incredibly dangerous and you will like just die. Like just trying to walk to work. Because yeah. most people don't get to work from home. So, like, yeah. walking to work, and, like, you have your service dog, that's great, but, like, what if somebody runs a red light and you can't see it coming, and now you just get absolutely mollywopped? 
Well, here's the so, thing, though. You're asking that question to two people who play guitar. I rigorously. think Nasty and I are going to have the same answer yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I from a practical standpoint, absolutely. Like I'd rather keep sight from just like a survival yeah. standpoint. Yeah. But I can't imagine never being able to hear, play, <laughs> compose music ever. Yeah, but well, you can imagine, still compose. But. Imagine never being able to like play games again or anything, or, or seeing your guitars, or see like, a titty. That'd be a good thing because then I wouldn't have like twenty five of them. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Yeah, McNasty, we got you a new guitar. You just shave a piece of wood off the top, like one yeah. of the little things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, it'd be it'd be hard, but I would definitely rather lose my hearing because I don't know. I like walking a lot too. I like being outside and like yeah. just having well, to have pros and cons constantly above. like like put you on a fucking leash to go walk outside. Like I'd rather not. <clears throat> Like I don't a deaf person bad. can still like I have a friend who's deaf. Well, they have they, they um, people well, that have those seeing sticks. You know, some deaf, yeah, oh right, yeah, but seeing okay, sticks. but what if yeah? What if you point your seeing stick into a vehicle moving ninety kilometers an hour, McNasty? We don't speak kilometer here. I don't know what that oh, okay. means. Yeah. All right, what is fast that car? Oh, one of them, them oh, kilo okay. dudes. I don't know what yeah. meters and liters. I don't know what's a meter or what's a liter. Fuck you. Do you actually not know the difference? Huh? Do you actually not know the difference between a meter and a liter? Like I said, I don't know what's fucking meters or liters. <laughs> God, I just, God I, you I, are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> American <laughs> school systems is the fucking worst. Meter? Meter where? Where am also, I meter? <laughs> Side meter? 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 <laughs> All right. Side God. note, though, on the burping, I think we we right before this podcast started, we uh, we were looking into our our Spotify analytics. We're curious as to how many people like just listen to the audio, so, and there was what over a million people that did. It. <laughs> so that means like, like over, two, yeah. yeah, over a million <laughs> people million. just probably probably trying to drive to work in their car. Hearing you fucking smooth brain <laughs> apes burp yeah. in their surround sound, like why? <laughs> it's a good way to start your day. Yeah. No, it's a good way to start your day off, bro. A this burp is a day organic. Keeps the doctor away. Yeah, it's true. That is not true. I, That's I why McNasty is the healthiest of all. Of us. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> this is not even a little bit true. Uh, <clears throat> all right. <laughs> Next topic, we can segue off of McNasty's impeccable health onto something else. <laughs> Do you guys have anything you want to talk about? Um, what's the square root? Well, of prepped pie? podcast, by the way, we're really good. <laughs> we're really good at this. What was that? What's the square root of pi? Eight something, sixty nine something. I've been is it really work it out? Uh, that's straight lyrics. Anyway. What it, tell me what how about some awkward or embarrassing or uncomfortable stories? I was wondering because I have one that I was thinking about sharing on the podcast that made me I, probably the most would, uncomfortable I've ever been in my life. I would love to hear it. Okay. So I went to college for like audiovisual stuff. Um okay. so I was taking audio like engineering classes and some video stuff on the side. And uh in one of my video classes, we had to <laughs> Uh, we were all paired up in groups and we had to like shoot like a scene from a movie. Um, and, um, kind of we movie? had, to, well, yeah, we did, <laughs> we did, oh. uh, we, well, it's okay. We did Pulp Fiction for ours oh, okay. and we had right. to find, uh, we had to find actors and all this stuff in a place to shoot it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, um, so the scene, have you guys both seen Pulp Fiction? Mm -hmm. by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the scene that I didn't choose this. But the scene that um, our group leader chose was dead inward storage for this. Oh. And um, <clears throat> you know the scene that's, I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, that's not a good scene to, well, to uh, uh, replicate. No, no, no. And this was like a hyper like liberal college too. Um, so hmm. I'm, I'm, I was a little surprised. But the where we shot this scene at was in his friend's apartment where four or five black gentlemen lived and they were all there on set the mm. whole time that we were shooting this scene and uh that hard r was dropped probably a hundred times that day oh with uh God. with like with like eight different black gentlemen in the room and uh, luckily i just i was just the boom guy i just held the boom microphone <laughs> oh, I was it's definitely even, the whitest. Like, yeah, you yeah, hold that boom, you crackle. <laughs> I'd love to see, like, the outtakes where the camera wasn't fully, like, set up, and you just see the microphone shaking at the top. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, just, like, <laughs> quivering out of yeah. fear. 
<laughs> Every Bro. time somebody says the N word, you just see it like tweak out for a second. <laughs> it's a pile it was... of piss running down the floor. <laughs> Dude, it was so uncomfortable, bro. Man, yeah, that is really re did like did anyone like say anything? Like did anything happen or was everyone just kind of like all right, whatever. Well, we I I assume we we all had the well, not me cuz I didn't say it, but I assume we as the white people had the inward pass cuz we didn't get the shit kicked out of us that day. So, I think we had it for that day. I'm glad that you pointed out that you didn't say it, even though you're holding the boom mic. So, like, yeah, I said it a couple times that day. Can we get a mic check? Dude just screams it. Like, <laughs> you're all. Uh, that's no. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I thought you were actually uh, gonna say it. No. <laughs> yeah, I was, they edited that one out. God, that is horrible. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. That is uh that is not a position I would I would definitely ever uh ever wanna be in. That does not sound fun. Yeah, it was very, I think, very uncomfortable. Uh, I think my worst is this is uh oh this is a pretty non PG story, but it's pretty funny. Um so when I was younger, before I had my girlfriend that I have now, I was with a girl who was like extremely over sexual. Like it was to the point where it was like constantly distracting. Like we couldn't do anything without it somehow becoming sexual. And I was stoked. I went over to play Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> so I went over to play Mario Kart and I was like, I had the little, the little Mario Kart, like it was on the Wii. So you had like the steering wheel and you're fucking moving around. I was getting so hyped. I was into it. And like, she fell off the fucking map, like, within 10 seconds. And immediately was like, okay, I'm bored. And just tried to start, like, sucking my dick. And I was not down, because I literally went over to play Mario Kart. I was so excited <laughs> for Mario Kart, dude. How old are you? So I'm st uh, I don't know if I should say that, because, you know, I, I well, feel like... You. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. Is that okay? Does he even say? I was probably like, I, I kind of think it's you. It's not, you know, you're yeah, not I don't know. I was a like, kid right now or something. No, I was like, I think I was probably like 16. Oh, okay. Oh, um, okay. That's not bad. So I was, I, so I was just were trying like to play. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was no, like I was, scared. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I was, I was, was turning this your seven and a half. Like, or some my, yeah, my, my <laughs> first pube grew in. I was really stoked. No, but I was, so, I was probably around 16. But like, I was just so obviously not down. And I just kept like trying to play the whole time while she kept like putting her face on my dick and I was just like hitting her with the fucking steering wheel trying to turn. And then just to put like just a chef kiss it, her mom came down while her fucking head was just straight on my dick. And like you could tell her mom thought something was going on, but you could also tell her mom was equally confused and uncomfortable as I was. <laughs> she saw that I was trying to grind out some Mario Kart and that her daughter was just fucking wilding out. So her mom just kind of came down the stairs, stared at me, stared at her, slowly walked back up the stairs while making eye contact and left. And that was it. And Aww. that was probably the most awkward and uncomfortable situation ever. It was just like, just the mixture of so many things that just caused that whole situation to be fucking horrible. But uh, I, I broke up with that girl like two weeks later. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, can't go over, I, can't, I can't go over to this person's house anymore, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, she's also, she's getting in the way of your Mario Kart game. I know, bro. what a bitch. God, dude. <laughs> yeah, if I was older and known better, I would have uh, definitely been arrested for domestic abuse. Uh, anyway, um, next. <laughs> anyway, guys, you got a story? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know, like, to compete with your guys' story. I mean, like, I just remember being in, like, compete. I think I was in like, uh, did you guys go to sixth grade camp? I don't know if you have that blur. <laughs> what <laughs> kind of camp? You didn't do that, uh, dude. It's like no. you, you go on like a, a camping trip for a weekend, like in sixth grade. Then you learn about like, like astrology and you take like hikes and stuff. You didn't do that? Astrology? Oh, that sounds Why would they teach lit. you you're a Taurus while you're a... Oh, not astrology. Uh, astronomy. Astronomy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, they have like this big, uh, they have like this big Gemini room. bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they separate you by your or whatever. No, I never did anything like that. Yeah. I, I was in Boy Scouts and I went camping, but that... uh oh, well, it, it was kind of like Boy Scouts, but just for like a weekend. <laughs> Dude, I thought you said you were a virgin. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> no way you were in Boy Scouts. Uh, I may have lied virgin. about that. <laughs> yeah, you know I had repressed that. <laughs> 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 
Uh, all right, sorry, okay. carry on. He went to a priest <laughs> to get born again. The priest molested him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh. Um, no, but yeah, in sixth grade camp. <laughs> uh, priest, I, I want to be born again as a virgin. I can't help you with that. <laughs> uh, um, sorry, carry on. Yeah, in sixth grade camp, uh, we were on a hike and. We were just like deep into the woods and I had to shit real bad. And there was just <laughs> no, Why did I know this, this is where this, this was going? Dude. Exactly. Shit was right. As what soon I thought as this you was said gonna be. hike, I was like I, nasty shit somewhere weird. <laughs> I I'm not I was, surprised. <laughs> that's pretty much what happened. I, I just I had to crap and uh, I was just like, We gotta walk back. I kept trying to convince like the hiking person, the like leader or whatever, I was like, We gotta walk back, I gotta take a dump. And like no, we're like 30 minutes into the woods. So I was like, fuck. And then they gave me like, because I think they gave everybody like homework or something to do, like just like a paper thing. And I just used, yeah. I just went behind a tree and like, I was, <laughs> I, please tell me you wiped your ass with your homework. I did. <laughs> Yes, dude. I, I had nothing else to wipe with. What an alpha play. Put hand the, it, in, hand like, it in. Put some bit of pen over it. <laughs> Just bring it back to the teacher here. <laughs> um, Homework done. No, but the I guess the embarrassing part is like I had to kind of do it like right by the entire like other class of people. Like I had to go behind this big tree, but they were just like probably 15 steps away from me and i was you like moaning. Log i was moaning and groaning yeah <laughs> you were moaning well i was like taking a shit so i was like oh, oh, like shitting you know <laughs> okay. Bro, what are you five years old i had to Why would release you a massive shit that was just like at the peak of my butthole <laughs> that's the kind of shit where it hurts to come out you know you have to so you're just like yo-yoing a turd for 40 kilometers walking through the forest like oh my god just turtle god, back in is... the whole way yeah I, I don't know why i just like <laughs> so I mean, like, but did anybody know what you did or did you just yeah. go like i'm peeing yeah oh everybody knew you went and shit yeah did anybody, like, I, with a stick? when i came back i was just like kind of awkward like looking at people and they were just like oh okay this guy just fucking <laughs> i know he's in the woods <laughs> This guy really just took a shit over there, ten feet from me. <laughs> McNasty comes back with his brown stained paper, like <laughs> just keep, just writing on it like nothing. Face with it. <laughs> sticks to his forehead, his cheek, yeah. Or, yeah. or just like he comes over behind the trees, homework's just stuck to his leg, <laughs> crusted in <laughs> shit. I sort of like oh, stuck it to the like... tree, like a uh, like one of the notes from Slenderman. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You just pick it up and turn around, it's covered in shit, and you look around and slam it. I'm just standing right behind you with big old long arms. <laughs> McNasty's just standing there shit. with his pants down. Yeah. <laughs> his pants down crying. I have to shit again. Uh, I, guess, uh, I guess this could uh, uh, kind of segue, your shit story could segue into the other topic that you brought up of uh, like worst food experiences. Like, have you had like food poisoning or anything like that? Like, I have really a few bad? Times, yeah. I've had once. I well, I don't know if it was food poisoning. I just ate some Greek food that I never had before, and I had no, the most explosive projectile <laughs> diarrhea. Like it was on the walls in my house. Bro. Oh my it god! Was well, were you were you standing? <laughs> I, but, like, well, it was one of those where like it started coming out before my cheeks could like hit <laughs> the seat. It was it was not waiting for anyone. So. <laughs> The food wasn't like rotten. I just think my body wasn't used to it. You know, you ever eat, eat some like weird ethnic food you've never yeah. had before, and then you're just like, just that nauseous is as hell. Honestly, never Indian food does that to me. me. Yeah, I've never really fucked with Man, Indian well, food. Maybe it's just my white as hell. Stomach. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think so. I think that would be it. Um, I got food. I, I think it was food poisoning. I got it in Cuba, like when I, like the last time I was there, I felt <laughs> fine. Like. All day. How many times have you been to Cuba? Uh, uh I think three. Why? Four? Three? No, three. I don't know. <laughs> Cuba's really nice, man. It's uh, it's it? actually socialist now. Yeah, yeah, it's a really beautiful country. Oh, but like, you know, up. obviously <laughs> obviously uh you know, America and Cuba don't really get along. There's like there's yeah. actually like like Imagine spray paintings that. of like the American flag burning on like bars and stuff there. It's actually like they, nice, they nice. really don't like you guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't like us guys, so <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Um, hey, but, America. Uh, <laughs> All right, Southern. So, anyway, since soup's not here, I have to do it for him. Yeah. <laughs> America. <laughs> yeah, soup. But uh, soup I went to bed. To say right now. Yeah. 
probably around like 10 o'clock because we had to get up at like 6 and we were going to go on this boat and uh, and just like basically go to sea. And uh, I woke up at like, actually it's probably around 4. I woke up and I was just like, man, my stomach fucking hurts. So I was like, I gotta throw up. And then I went to the bathroom and I was like, ah, I was wrong. It's the other end. And oh. uh, then I just sat there and did that and then sat in the shower for like an hour waiting for something else to happen. But nothing happened. So I went back to bed and it was just fucking awful because like I felt fine the next day, but I was so scared to eat. So like I think I ate like a tiny bit of rice and like two pieces of bread the whole day because I was just so fucking scared <laughs> to have like anything. So I think that was the worst part of it. And just being fucking tired, it was just not fun. But that was really the only time I've ever had, like, food poisoning or, like, stomach issues or anything. I've been so fucking lucky. You know, there's, yeah. a, there's a diet uh, when you when you have, uh, like, stomach yeah, problems. Bart, like there's a isn't diet. it? Brat. Well, I guess Brat, Bart works, yeah. too. Yeah, it's bananas, beans, rice, apples, beans, toast. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was... No, beans would be bad. <laughs> it's definitely not beans. Beans would be bad, yes. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I got a... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah, no, beans is not yeah, it. You don't want to add farts uh, on top of your fucking <laughs> stomach pan. <laughs> you're puking shit and now you're like, farting. <laughs> Russian roulette. The Triforce. <laughs> the three genders. Puke shit and fart. <laughs> <laughs> Like I the, want the Triforce of like the, shit. The story of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Link, oh God, you must get the Triforce of shit, Link. Oh he's just like, God, he's all I'm green in the face, just like ready to puke. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is awful. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, just, <laughs> no. I, I guess that's a good thing to throw out for the for the listeners is, uh, yeah, brat diet. So if you're ever having stomach pain, bananas, rice, apples, toast are th- four foods that are proven to not fuck with your stomach. When you're hmm. having like the stomach flu or one thing I know to not have is milk products. Oh, I've yeah, been told that very not. extensively, yeah. like stay the fuck away from it. Even if you're not like lactose sensitive, it is just mm. apparently brutal. Yeah. Um, my <laughs> story though, I have a, I have a fucked up uh, food story. Um, okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure to this day if it was the stomach flu. Cause I know you can, I know you can get a, a stomach bug and it can just be like a one day thing. Mm-hmm. That's but, usually um, food poisoning. To be honest, yeah, so, like we, we learned a lot about that in one of my foods class. Uh, well, what what triggered it for me was homemade, uh, like beef. So my dad like he cooked beef ribs in like a big crock pot. Oh, you! Yeah, I think you told us about this somewhat before. But yeah, you didn't really so go into cooked, detail. He cooked beef ribs in a big crock pot, so it was like really <laughs> soft meat. And then I think we made like um, I think we made sandwiches out of it. So he like bought some rolls and like buttered toasted them and like we got some like provolone cheese and some sauteed oh onions. Oh god, that sounds so good. <sighs> it was super yeah. good. <clears throat> I remember really enjoying the food. But uh waking up like so it was like really late in the di- late in the night and then we woke up in the middle of the night and just vomited everywhere. Just blah, you know, explosive vomiting. And uh I love your vomiting. Uh, just blah. Blah. Dude, if you heard me vomit, I am the blah. loudest vomiter on the entire fucking planet. I puke so oh. loud, and everybody oh, got, that's gotta, ever gotten drunk with me knows it. <laughs> I got a story about my sister after, um, but yeah, carry on with yours. Then. Yeah, so that's how my brother is, though, dude. It's frightening when he vomits. Yeah. It sounds like Godzilla. Like, <laughs> I'm like, like it's terrifying, me too, dude. I'm like, I scream when I vomit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, like, it's I don't just make like, any noise. When yeah. I'm silent. I just throw up and go to bed. <laughs> I don't know why I scream. Like, it's something I can't control. I just do it. I just make a lot of That's noise when so I puke, weird. but I've heard, yeah, I've heard other people puke. They'll just go like, Whoa, and then you just hear it like come out. But I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> God, I would kill myself if I lived with you. <laughs> so For lots of other stuff. reasons, not just. Well, I don't yeah. puke very yeah, no. often, so <laughs> only when I get like really <laughs> fucked up and I have to puke. The next wake, day. wake up with my daily puke. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, yeah, that that night, um, I, I I pretty much ended up taking my pillow and blanket in the bathroom with me and just like sleeping on the floor because I, I like every 10 minutes I needed to puke oh that's the worst bro. yeah that's I remember awful. specifically though getting in the shower at one point and because I, f- I thought like getting in the shower was gonna make me feel better it didn't I 
I puked and diarrhea at the same time. Oh, <laughs> in the dream. In the back. God, all you're missing is like a bloody nose for the trifecta. Yeah. <laughs> like sneezing, sneezing. I was just like a double ended, like just explosion. <laughs> I'm God. surprised you didn't start like twirling. Like the force from both ends just caused you to like <laughs> become a spinning top. Just lift off. <laughs> <laughs> I just become an helicopter propeller. I just, uh, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty fucked. Actually, yeah. uh, actually reminds me back, uh, back when I was in a band, I had the boys over and we were, we were pretty young. So like, we really didn't know how to like properly handle alcohol. I'm going to try to suck your dick and while you were playing Mario Kart. What? <laughs> <laughs> you no, my bandmates, very, very not girlfriend. Stories of Mario Kart. No, no, we weren't playing Mario Kart. We were just we were, well, we were jamming. We had like uh, we had a little rehearsal, and then and then we decided to get drunk. And I didn't have that many shots. I think I had like I don't know, probably like five or six shots. So I was I was kind of drunk, especially because I was so young. But I wasn't like completely fucked. But uh, our drummer was just like completely shit faced. Like he had like fifteen shots, and I was like fucking Christ. And they're at my house, so I was like, all right, whatever. Um, the guitarist was like, I'm going to bed, and he just passed out on the floor, so I threw a blanket on him and a pillow over his head. Um, and our bassist went home, but then the drummer was just like, dude, can I shower? I was like, yeah, for sure. Um, so he just went into the bathroom, left the door open, didn't even do anything, just fucking took his clothes off, and I was like, all right, whatever. And I go upstairs, and I just started playing Xbox, and from downstairs, like, like, there's, like, two floors between us. So he yelled so fucking loud. All I hear is, I just fucking puked on my dick! So I was like, what the fuck? I go downstairs. He's just sitting in the shower. The shower wasn't even on. He was just crisscross applesauce crying with a lap full of puke. Just completely uh, naked. Oh, God. Just uh. sitting there. All I did, didn't God. even say a word. Plugged my nose, walked into the shower, turned on the water, closed the door, just left him in there for like an hour and a half. <laughs> just oh. Didn't even check on him. Was just like, I'm fucking pissed. He got out later, even worse. Threw up on my floor and then i didn't know they did this all they did was put a towel over it scoop it all into the towel and put it in my fucking washing machine and we Ew. had sushi we had sushi that night so there's just like chunks of shrimp in my fucking Ew. washing machine god yo <laughs> it's, it's sorry so if y'all eat while you watch this podcast our bad yo i get so many <laughs> i see so many comments of people saying don't eat while you watch this, or like yeah, even our you videos. Cannot, don't eat not while you watch. Do not eat while you do like anything to do with us. Do not uh, eat, or uh. honestly, just don't even listen. <laughs> I bet you, yeah, you somebody's gonna listen to this and be eating sushi while you tell that story. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, he's gonna yeah. eat their shrimp. But yeah, that was fucking awful. But uh, the story I want to say about my sister: we were in Las Vegas, and uh, Las Vegas? she got food. Po- oh, yeah, Las she Vegas? got. Oh, I, I, I lost a lot of loonies and toonies <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right anyway I love making fun we were, of other people's we were, accents even though they can't control we were in las vegas <laughs> very light of we you. were coming we were coming home on the airplane and halfway through she started feeling like sick as fuck and she's like you mcnasty where when she throws up she just <laughs> fucking like screams, screams. Yeah. so she was literally in the bathroom all the way till we were landing and like as we were landing, like they obviously shut off all the TVs and it's super quiet in the plane. And we were near the back, and all you could hear as we were landing is just like Bleh! coming from the back bathroom. Ugh. And everyone was just like, What the fuck is happening? And like we hit the ground, it was super windy, and like so there's a fuck ton of turbulence. So the plane was just bouncing everywhere when we were landing, and you just hear her throwing up even more. It's just like, God, what a horrible fucking thing to listen to. It was so funny though. I felt so bad, but it's just like so awkward listening to somebody like scream while they throw up in an airplane toilet. Ugh, it's fucking nasty. This is making that me is one place sick to my stomach thinking about throw. all this puke. <laughs> all right, well let's talk about <laughs> puppies. We've been yeah. talking about puke for like a solid twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good topic. <laughs> just name it's a the good title. Topic. Name the podcast. Just puke. Goons all right, number well, seven. How about how about how about we talk about something wholesome? Have you guys ever been caught jerking off? Uh, <laughs> what a segue! <laughs> I feel like I kind of have, but never like super, super directly. You know, I've never been just barged or in, like, dick I in g- hand. Like, I oh g- my god! I, g- I guess I can add on to that. Like, have you ever like has anyone ever walked in on you like even having sex or anything like uh, along those lines? Yeah, no. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I guess with nasty. Uh, no, not possible. I unfortunately. You say know. unfortunately. <laughs> Why unfortunately? Yeah. Like, do you want like, to get walked in on having sex? Are you some kind of like exhibitionist or no, something? No, no. You said you said. Oh, that was me that said that. No. Oh, yeah. Oh you my dumb god. Fuck. god. I'm not you gonna really out things brain. very well. Done. I or said that. That was me. What? <laughs> not possible. <laughs> Dude, have you ever been caught jerking? Nah. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, I, I can't. I, I don't feel, really I, have a story to I, commit uh, I feel to like add those, to this. I, I feel like those stories are always super funny. Um, I've never really had anything. Um, I think my dad walked in while I was having sex once, but I honestly don't know. Like, I obviously wasn't staring at my door while clapping cheeks, but I, yeah. I swear I heard my door close, and my dad was the only one that was home. Oh. And, like... I looked up and the door was closed and I was just like, I I don't know what the fuck just happened there. So I don't really have anything exciting, but I do have a story that kind of pertains to it. Um, so this was one of my friends. He was he had a girl over and um, and he was, he was doing her from behind. So like she was like on her hands and knees on the bed in front of him. And his dad is like, <laughs> thank you for explaining the that, most, dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, just this trying to give a doggy, doggy style. Yeah. Okay, but just trying to give full context they call it of what like how because she's on all fours. <laughs> like my balls are nasty. Have sex. Wait, you uh, can have sex that way? Oh my god, right, I want to fucking kill both of you. That's pretty wild. Oh, whoa! I just, whoa. I just want to stab both of you in the pee -pee neck. And pee pee and women pee pee. What, <laughs> what happened when male pee pee touch female pee pee? <laughs> God, I, I lose brain cells when I come in here. Why did I commit to this podcast once a week? Why did I do this to because myself? It's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful, I feel like warm a, feeling right in the base of your you wanted to be You wanted to be a part of the podcast that's 46 and like titty grab or whatever. Titty caca. Sorry. We're almost there. Almost 46. Half. So All right. Half podcast. Anyway, yeah, there's this podcast. Not, we're, not bringing, one, we're not bringing up Titty Cock. It's one a paralyzed guy. podcast, and he just like, I was talks to say, himself. Is it a bunch of, is a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> I fucking. You would be perfect on that podcast. Like all right, all right. <laughs> I feel like I can just hit myself in the head with a hammer for the same effect as it is like playing, going on this podcast for an hour. Okay, but back to the story. Okay, go ahead. Go this, ahead. Guy, th this guy's dad is like the most innocent PG like awkward shy quiet dude ever the so dad. it just made this yeah. Oh, yeah um and regardless my friend was was doing this girl and his dad walked in so he just did the first thing he could think of so he like put a Starts blanket praying. over her <laughs> no he put a blanket over her while still inside her just put a blanket over top of her so like very obviously the outline of another person just with a blanket <laughs> and, yeah. and his dad opens the door just fucking uh, i'm just gonna say p because i don't want to say his name he's like uh hey p what do you what do you want for lunch and my friend is just sitting there his dick is still hard in this girl and his dad just i don't know if his dad like couldn't figure out what was going on or if he just felt too awkward to walk out. It's like, so, looking. It's a dog, I promise. <laughs> so much worse. <laughs> but uh, he's like, uh, he's like, I was gonna make like mac and cheese. Do you want some? And he's like, uh, sure. Oh, he's oh, like, I smell. I can, I can tell you already eating fish in here. My bad. I didn't know you already had lunch. <laughs> no, but, hold on. He, 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 he asked the girl. Boy, he's like, is is your friend still here? And her head popped out from the blanket. <laughs> and, and he was like, do you want mac and cheese as well? She's like, uh, sure. And he's like, he fucking closed the door, pops it open again. Do you guys want hot dogs in it? Oh <laughs> my god. Like, <laughs> he's like, I already yes. got that. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, yes, dad, please get out. And it's just like, I don't know, the way he tells the story is so funny, but just like, I think I'd fucking kill myself. Like, I don't know if the dad was too awkward to like acknowledge that he walked in on his son just clapping his balls off a girl's ass or like if he genuinely just didn't know what Actually, was happening. Actually, we have to clit if it's doggy style, so... Maybe it's, he was. Maybe he was on top of her. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He could have been like helicoptering. I don't know. I don't know what kind of crazy shit he's into. Or maybe he has balls above his dick. He's just one of those like weird breeds. Yeah, it's like a Hitler stash above his dick. Yeah. 
<laughs> that that sounds like that's like straight out of a Family Guy episode or it something. Does. It, it, yeah, remind, no, it reminds me like American Pie or something, like something out of a college yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, like, that's how yeah, American Pie no, would start. Uh, and they'd be like, "This is my life," you know. Yeah. Kind of no, shit. but that's uh, that's that was a true story. <laughs> uh, I'd probably kill myself. So I mean, luckily I've never had anybody uh, anybody walk in or anything super fucking crazy happen. The only thing that's ever really happened to me in that regard is like, um. The thing is, I've, I've always, I've had a few things here and there where, like, I'll be jerking off, like, under the blankets, and, like, my mom will walk in, and I can tell that she has no fucking clue what I'm doing, because I'm just, like, instantly, like, stopped. <laughs> just and I'm, just, like, I'm just, like, chilling there. But <laughs> I'm never, like, I'm never, like, full spread eagle, just boom, 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 like, out in the open. <laughs> and somebody walks eagle? in. Why do you want to like that? I'm, not, I'm, 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 not, I'm saying I don't. I'm just saying I've never, like, uh, I've never just been, yeah. like, full out dick in hand somebody walks in boom and i'm just there and they see my cock in my hand and this never happened it's always Can you been imagine like, like right as you climax somebody walking in how fucking horrible okay, this is, this is, hold on this is the story <laughs> hold on. This, oh boy <laughs> oh spoilers this Dang is the born. story so when i for i think i was 17 yeah i was 17 when my dad moved into an apartment and i moved in with my dad so growing up i, I was raised by my mom but around the time i was like 16 and 17 I had, like started fighting with my mom a lot. So I moved in with my dad and uh yeah, he had this apartment and um so my dad has me and then my half sister and then he also ha I have a stepsister that I've like grown up with since I was like probably 7, but she's like a few years older than me. But she was she was my old stepmom's daughter, but he kind of like he didn't technically adopt her, but he like raised her so it's we kind of see her as like, you know, a sister. But, yeah. uh, so she, uh, she lived in the apartment with us for a little bit when we first moved in and I took, uh -oh. so it was only a two bedroom apartment. It was a pretty small apartment and it was, my dad obviously took the main bedroom and then I had the, the extra bedroom, but I, sh I sh like shared it. So my sister like lived in the living room. She like slept on the couch and, uh, okay. so she, she kept all of her stuff in the closet in my room. Uh, so oh. she, need, if she needed to come in my room, she would like to get stuff out of the closet. She would just she, walk in. She would just come in and get it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, she was the kind of person to like. She'd be kind enough to knock, but then immediately walk in just after immediately knocking. Immediately open uh -huh. it. Yeah. I, yeah. I hate. That's my biggest fucking pet peeve. Even yeah. if I'm not doing anything, when somebody's just like, and the door's open. Yeah. I'm like, bro, why did you like, even knock? What, what, yeah. That's what, more like knock. scary. You know, you're just like, oh god. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. no, so she I got like, a fear boner that I didn't have before. She, <laughs> she walked in and so I, I, I was in like kind of a, a little bit of a long distance thing with somebody like they didn't live super far away, but they lived far enough away for it to be like, I couldn't see them all the time. And, uh, we were doing our thing on the phone. Right. And, right. uh, I was laying in bed and I, you know, was obviously p -p 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 spanking it and, <laughs> She Ugh. knocked, she knocked on the door, boom, <laughs> immediately walked in. I was like, immediately coming. <laughs> she walked in the door. I was like, I was just sitting there in bed, just like, not, I could hear her talking on the phone. And she was like, what, what's going on? What's going on? I'm just sitting there just coming under the blanket. My sister's walking over to get like clothes out of the closet or something. Oh my God. I, like the most, I didn't, I don't know if she like knew that. I was just sitting there like tense. And she was like, trying to talk to me. She's like, Hey, what are you doing? I'm just sitting there. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm just oh, like, I'm speeding up. Another. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't uh, awful if you had like a super thin bed sheet and just saw this little wet spot slowly uh, appearing. And from the force, you could see like the little, like the sheet like shooting up. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is awful. I would feel so fucking garbage after yeah, that. That was hands down the worst cum shot I've ever had in my life. It was miserable. <laughs> that was like a girl just jerking you off, and right as you're about to come, she just lets go. And you're just like or sitting like, like your dick is just like dancing. <laughs> or if you're just like beaten off and right as you finish like to porn, there just cuts to like some bald guy's head. Yeah. That's like banging this girl. Like the, just, <laughs> it's like a back view. You see like his gooch and his asshole. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> God, this is the worst fucking thing ever. 
That is, that is, like, how did that, like, play out, though? Like, did, was the girl on the phone that you were with, like, did she pick up on it, or was she still just, like, fucking moaning over the phone while you sat there awkwardly? Like, what the uh, fuck I had, happened? I had to tell her after my sister left the room. I was, I told her what happened, and she was just like, oh, my God. At first, she was confused because I don't, uh, I, I don't think she knew. Yeah, she didn't know that I lived with, that my sister lived with me. So she thought there was just like some random girl that was in your room. Yeah, she like I, I could tell that she oh. kind of had a feeling like I was. She was like, "Are you like, are you like dating somebody? You're living with a girl?" I was like, "No, my sister just walked in my room while I was fucking blowing a load." <laughs> she was just <laughs> like, "Oh my god, Ugh. dude, that is hell." God, yeah. I I literally nae off a cliff. It's so that. weird I'd to think about right that because like thing. I never. It's I, I would never probably ever have phone sex again. I feel like that's something you do when you're just like young and horny as shit. Yeah. Phone sex yeah, seems like know. so boring. Well, I guess now it's like you can just FaceTime if you want to, you know, do something like that. But back then I you yeah, know, I had a fucking I had like a uh I think it was a Blackberry or oh, it was a it was a blackjack, like Samsung blackjack phone. Oh hell yeah. yeah. That phone was fucking terrible. It used to have like a big chunk of like pixels missing on the screen too. <laughs> but, uh, real yeah. authentic for uh <laughs> for phones back then. Yeah. Well, that is an awful story. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that it was is pretty, pretty fucking terrible. Yeah, I've never been walked in on having sex though, which is good. I feel I, like that would be I, I'm, harder to hide. I'm glad. Yeah, I mean, unless your dad is just trying to make craft dinner, and then I guess like the he, worst would be walked in on having sex, no blankets, and you're just boom mid cum, and you're just exploding <laughs> all over somebody. It's like, what do you do in that situation? <laughs> That is probably man's uh, most vulnerable moment when he's like yeah, really mid is. like shooting ropes. Like <laughs> it's 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 the worst because everything's frozen to you. Just you can't even react. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like it's like the movie, I think what is it, Click or whatever, where he has the remote oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. time. That's that's what it feels like. Actually, that would be useful in a time like that. You could just like pause your dad. Just hold on. Boom, 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 boom. roll over. <laughs> Wipe it off. Sit down like a normal position. <laughs> okay, like, but what if you him. paused your dad while your dad was staring at you? Would your dad just, like how would that work? Would he just have like one frame of seeing his son? Well, clap you would just rewind or? for like a second. I yeah. alright, I don't know the science of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a remote. You can rewind, fast forward, you know. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I don't want to talk about coming anymore. Coming yeah, on next, click. <laughs> next, next. Uh, how, like, how long has it been? How long? Uh, like, do you have time for another proper topic or yeah, what? Yeah, it's been four forty-four minutes now. All right. Um, I got a question for you guys. I feel like Do might have some good ones because he lives in Missouri. Uh, uh what's your worst like weather experience? Like, you've had, have you ever had anything super scary, like a tornado, super close, or like anything fucking nuts? Oh, well, tornadoes are all the time. Uh, we're kind of in like the tornado like alley. I yeah. guess they call it. Um, I've never been hit by a tornado before, but we we definitely we had one this one time that went through like because I live like in just like a regular ass neighborhood, like not on a farm, like a lot of people think because, yeah. you know, Missouri. Um, but um, there was a tornado that came through like my my subdivision and uh, they hit, it hit the, the street next to me jumped over our street and hit the street on the other side of us and just did like your dad did your dad do like a rain dance yes yes my dad did my dad did the tribal anti-tornado dance um and uh and it worked thank you dad um but uh, no that was that was definitely one of the scariest times because i don't know if you guys have ever heard a tornado but it sounds like a freight train yeah they're fucking horrifying uh, dude we don't get those um, here yeah, it's 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 really freaking terrifying. But somehow it jumped over our street and it like jacked up a couple houses on uh, both sides of us. But it didn't touch our street at all. I mean, we lost oh, power for like a week and a half. But that's still Damn, so that lucky. Long? Like rather than rather yeah. than rebuilding your fucking house, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't too I wasn't too mad about it. But oh, that's uh that's fucking horrifying. Have you ever like driven through one or anything? No. Like been driving and had one. No, I've I, seen uh, them off in the distance though. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, when I used to work at a golf course, um, whenever there'd be a big storm, I'd have to go out, and we had this big cart called a people mover, and essentially all it was was, like, a giant limousine cart. People mover? And, yeah. Oh, and like, it's you, like you a golf cart like, that's, like, attached to a bunch of other golf carts? No, it was this one giant-ass golf cart, like, a huge, like, limo, essentially. And uh, I think you could fit, like, six, seven people on it, whatever. I feel like I've seen those um, before. So, probably. It just looks like a big golf cart. So, uh. um, there's a really, really bad storm um coming through 
And there was no tornado watch or anything. So tornado, kind of like tornado, <laughs> tornado. I fucking tornado. <laughs> I'd give a loony so for much. you to never say tornado like that again. <laughs> like my balls. All right. So, <laughs> I would. Um, there was no watch or anything, no warning, so no reason to like really be super worried. But there was lightning, so I had to go get everybody off the course. And these two old dudes were at the very, very back of the course, and they were the last ones I had to get. So I was like, whatever. I drove out there. And I looked up and I saw a funnel cloud and I was like, whatever, not a huge deal. Like funnel clouds are pretty common. Most of the time they don't turn into like tornadoes here. Um, so I got them and this old dude was just sitting under his, the, the tree, smoking a cigar, completely unbothered. And he sat on the back because he wanted to look at the storm. And I was going, I was just driving back, not really rushing or anything, just talking. And he just like stopped talking for like 10 seconds and he just screamed, holy shit. I was like, what? Like, what the fuck? I thought he dropped something. So I stopped and I turned around and literally the tornado like just touched down at the back of like the course where we were. Oh, God. So it was like it wasn't super close, but it was enough where like our cart was rocking and like it was just not a safe place to be. So I was just like, oh, fuck. (laughs) So I just tried to floor it back as fast as I could. They're both just like throwing shit off the cart so we could lose weight because it's so slow going uphill. Like if you have a bunch of people on it. So they just left their golf bags there. They just dropped everything they could. And we were just going back as quick as we could. And somebody was sitting on the patio of the restaurant at the golf course. They took a fucking video. So there's this video somewhere out there of me just driving a giant golf cart with a tornado behind it just like closing <laughs> in on us it was so fucking horrifying luckily we got movie. back yeah that's yeah, epic, luckily bro. we got back and it uh it died like well before it made it to the actual like building of the golf course but it was fucking scary man like when he mm-hmm. screamed and i turned around and just like saw it and like you said like it sounds like a fucking fray train so yeah. like once it's got close enough you're just like holy shit it was fucking it was really scary and then uh even like i think it was uh, probably two weeks ago um I told you guys about this, but uh, we were sitting there eating at a restaurant on on a, this just off the beach by my cottage, and another tornado. My dad was, yeah, my dad was just like it wasn't a full tornado, but my dad was like, "Holy shit, it's like super windy," and we were kind of just like, I don't know, we've never eaten at this restaurant, so we just assumed that it was in a spot that gets really windy because it was like right on the beach in between two like forested areas, so we assumed the wind just funneled through there. But then like cars were like wiggling. So I was like, yeah, that's like not normal. So we both went outside and looked up and literally I've never seen a funnel cloud as big as that one. It was fucking massive. It was so wide. It's just like, it's so hard to fathom when you actually see like a tornado that close or like a funnel cloud. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, but luckily it didn't touch down or anything. It was just a shit ton of wind, but... Man, it that is, thing could have wrecked horrifying. shit if that actually touched oh, yeah. down, bro. If it, if it if it touched down, I probably would have been dead. <laughs> like, isn't easily. it rare for tornado? I got you know you got me saying tornado. Tornado. Um, isn't it rare for tornadoes to touch down like in a city? Uh, not really. I mean, it doesn't happen often, just because there's not really many major major cities that are like directly in Tornado Alley, other than like mm. some te- like big cities in Texas, I guess, but. I mean, there's technically nothing like preventing them like from doing that. Wyoming or something. Whenever I think of tornadoes, just like a big flat state. Yeah, I like mean, Oklahoma. even Colorado gets a lot. Yeah, mm. Oklahoma gets a fuck ton. They've had, I think, they had the biggest tornado ever, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was like 2.3 miles wide or something stupid. Jesus, that's like a hurricane or something. Yeah, like that's. I'd argue that's scarier than a hurricane because, like, the fastest winds we've ever had recorded on Earth are on like the North Pole and tornadoes. Hmm. Which is, Oof. which is fucked. Yeah, those things are scary. But uh, I don't know. I used to be horrified of storms, but now I like them a lot. I usually like sit in my garage and and watch them. But yeah. I don't know. They're well, definitely I, the. Sorry, you carry on. I live in California, so we don't get it like anything. Yeah, you like don't it. get. Shit. I don't. Yeah. Where I live too, like you, we don't I mean, even I get like. Um, anything, though? I I I get like after quakes. Like there'll oh, be a big earthquake weird. in like Vegas, and I'll feel it. Like I'll feel like the afterquake of it. And it's, mm. it's kind of scary. You're just like, boom, boom, all of a sudden your whole house is just douche, 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 you know? I mean, obviously it's scarier in Vegas where it happens, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, usually, I, can, I can imagine that. Usually pretty unexpected. The only the only weather thing I know of that I've like ever really experienced is, uh, um, I think it was like a few years back. We were having like fires here in California real bad. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah, true. And uh, it wasn't like the fire didn't directly affect me, but um, it made the air. So I live, I live in an area where there's mountains surrounding me. So whatever like weather comes over the mountain and dips into my area, kind of just sits here like a bowl. Um, it's kind of kind of crappy, but uh, yeah. Uh, back then I was I was living with my dad, and uh, I had to my job for the house was making sure that the lawn was mowed and like the bushes weren't going wild like just yard work right and uh mm-hmm. <clears throat> around that time our air quality was like just fucking so terrible like you could go outside and look up in the sky and it just looked like just like a post-apocalyptic Brown sky shit. like everything was just so like like you couldn't even see like the sky it was just covered in just like this just like God. gritty grossness but yeah i had to That'd go so shit i had to go out and and mow the lawn in like a hundred plus degree weather while the fires were going on and i was just like it was it was a it was a lawnmower that didn't have like the automatic pull so i had to push it myself and i was just mm-hmm. fucking like so i did the i just i just started on the front lawn and by the time i was done with the front lawn i had, I, I guess my body was just like because it was i was working so hard it was like pulling in so much like air that it was just like, it almost made me pass out just because of like how terrible the fucking air quality was. And like, like God. if I walked, if I walked outside and just like went to the store or something, nothing would happen. But I think just because I was working so hard and just like, yeah. it just made you know, it like, breathing worse. in so much. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. And I was just like, fuck, I almost puked. Yeah, I, I felt like I was going to throw up, but yeah, I was like, ah, fuck. back to puke. I had, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, I had like a headache puke. for the whole day and I was just like, I felt dizzy and just sick to my stomach. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, yeah, but nothing, is, no tornadoes or anything, so. Well, actually, I guess there's another tornado I forgot to mention. Now you got me paying attention, I always say tornado. Tornado! But, uh, it was that fucking, I used to go to Warp Tour. Um, oh, I, I, I'm sure you know what that is. Yeah, I do. Um, mm-hmm. But we were seeing Rise Against play, and I was so stoked to see them. And as they're about to go on, some guy just came on the microphone and was like, yeah, there's a tornado warning, so y'all need to go inside, and this set's <laughs> going to get delayed. And, like, it was already brutal, because I was already almost, like, passing out that day. Like, it was, like, 120 degrees Fahrenheit with humidity. So, like, that being pushed in with, like, a tight-ass crowd, like, man, it fucking, it was brutal. And then after that, like, luckily the tornado passed over and, like, didn't fuck with any of the, like, equipment or anything too bad. Um, it was just super windy. But, um... Uh, just like after that, the humidity was so fucking bad. Like just walking out the door, like it used to be, I used to go to the one in, uh, De- well, Detroit or like, I think it was in Ann Arbor technically where the Pistons played. So like, as soon as we walked out of the stadium, like you were just already drenched in fucking sweat. So I, was that was gross. awful, but yeah, it was fucking brutal. That whole day just sucked fat dick and it was all the tornado's fault. As much as I hate heat, I actually... I'm kind of happy I live on the West Coast when it comes to heat. Because, like, thinking about well, the, the heat there is dry. Humid, yeah. Like, unless you're in San Diego, San Diego is pretty fucking humid and muggy. But, like, everywhere else is so, like, 100 degrees in Las Vegas versus 100 degrees in, like, uh, if anywhere in, like I don't know, anywhere on the East Coast. Yeah, or, like, where I live or, yeah, even any of us. Um, like, it is so much worse to be 100 here. Like, it's crazy. Like, I say, like, oh, it's fucking 90 degrees. It's hot as shit out. And then somebody from Nevada is like, oh, it's like 110 here. It's like, yeah, but it's fucking dry. Like, humidity just makes it so much worse. Yeah. Like, I've been to, like, L.A. when it was, like, 110. And I just wore jeans and, like, a t-shirt. And I was yeah. fine. Yeah. That's how Missouri is, bro. The air is so thick here. I feel like I could, like, actually hold it. You yeah, know? literally. Like, it's a it's physical brutal. thing. Brutal. That sounds it. fucking terrible. I'd be miserable. I feel like I was in, like, a tropical rainforest half the time. Yep, that's my, definitely my least favorite part about living, like, where I do. Like, if I, if we didn't build up where we did, like, where my area is, it would definitely just be, like, a swamp. Hmm. Like, it's gross as fuck. Mm Mm-hmm. So I definitely don't like that aspect of where I live at all. West Coast is definitely better for weather. I want to live somewhere where it just doesn't, doesn't get hotter than, like, 80 Oh yeah, uh, that's actually my that kind of goal in life. That kind of goes on to the uh, other question I was going to ask you guys earlier: is uh, if you could have a house like anywhere else other than where you live now, like where where would you guys choose? Like if you could have a house now in U.S. or Canada or wherever you live, 
We would um, not want to have a house in Canada. All right, enjoy your COVID. I don't know. If um, right now, I might. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. Um, but uh, where? Like, what other country you would you? <laughs> what other country would you guys try to live in? Ooh, country or state? Yeah, or country. Like, if you could have, I guess, another state too. Um, uh, like, if you could just have two houses, where would you put one? Where, like, if you had one now where you live, and then you could just put another one anywhere on the planet, like, where would you put it? Well, I haven't been to a lot of places, but I've been to Oregon. Oregon's fucking beautiful, so probably Oregon. Yeah, you already lived there, though. No, it was Washington. Oh, but it's right, kind of right. the fucking same thing. It's, it's all the fucking same. Trees and people who smoke way too much weed. But it's just like, the same. well, the thing is, it's just, yeah, tr- I mean, like trees are the other thing. But the, the, uh, trees make a difference, you know? When you go outside and everything is just blooming and colorful. Oh, yeah, and it's no, just 100%. Like, it's just gorgeous to look at. And the thing is, too, mm-hmm. is like, I remember driving through Oregon and not seeing a single piece of trash on the ground. <laughs> when you drive through where I live, it's just like, it's like they don't have like street cleaning or something. People just like throw trash on the side of the road, and it's just like when you That's drive through nice. like the freeways and highways and That's stuff, awful. it's just dirty. Uh, when you drive through Oregon, everything's just like beautiful and clean. And, and I you think always, those people actually give a fuck about where they live there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, they do. But um, like I said, I haven't really been to any other states, so I don't know. I haven't really experienced much of the much of the world yet. Mm. I I really want to visit Europe at some point though, but. I, I, yeah, Goons same. Europe trip thoughts. Hey, let's do it. That would be pretty wild. Yeah, it would be fucking fun. Um, because the the place I would definitely have a house is either in Greece or Italy. I loved both, so it'd be really hard for me to choose. But like, my family originates from um the Mediterranean. Mm, um, you were gonna say like Iraq? My, no, <laughs> we, we are we're from the Mediterranean, and then like the Greece is, area. Is like Greece, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then, well, anywhere that's on the Mediterranean Sea, like even Lebanon is technically in the Mediterranean. Uh, um, yeah, that's, my family that's what you're up. actually like, but, yeah, Lebanese, right? right. But my, yeah, but, but my last name came from a mountain in Greece. Um, but Blark. I'd love to live around there again. <laughs> yes, my map Blark was my mountain. last name. The Blark <laughs> Mountains. <laughs> that's, that's goals. I want to have so much fucking Raid Shadow Ledges money that I just buy a mountain. <laughs> it's like Mount Rushmore with all four of us on it. <laughs> No, <laughs> just the Mount, Mount, Mount Goon. Goons more. Yeah, <laughs> Goons. just buy buy a giant fucking mountain in Greece and just Mount Goon. Yeah, it'd be Greece or Italy. Plus, I love the food there. It slaps. God, it's so fucking good. Yeah, that's another reason I want to go to Europe is just to try so many like. Because here you can try any food you want, but it's probably a hundred percent not even close to what it's like actually there. Well, okay. The thing is, is. Like a recipe is a recipe, right? Like uh-huh. if you make great pasta in fucking LA or if you make great pasta in, you know, Naples, Italy, it doesn't matter, right? It's the, right. the it's what matters is the ingredients. And that's why food in a lot of like European countries is so good because they have so much emphasis on fresh food, mm-hmm. whereas we tend to store things a lot more. Like a lot of countries, like, like in Italy, Um, they get food every single day. Like they go grocery shopping every single day and they close all their stores at like 11 to like 1 PM to have like siesta where they Mm -hmm. go home, eat a fuck ton of food with their family and take a nap. Mm. Like they have so much emphasis on like food there and fresh produce and stuff that we just don't have in North America. So like when people are like, Oh, pizza and pasta and whatever is so much better in Europe. It's like the recipes are the fucking same, but it's like the quality of products that they use and like the care they put into it is just so much more there. There's so much more emphasis on food. Yeah. And, I know uh, a lot of European places that. will, uh, they'll, they'll grow f- food and stuff like on their roofs, like a rooftop. Yeah. yeah literally. They'll yeah. like gardens yeah. and stuff up there. And that's yeah, just like just next level. Awesome. Like I'm sure you can get that kind of stuff here. I know there's places that are obviously care about serving the best food possible, yeah, but, but those places are all expensive. Like yeah, you can go to Italy is, and have yeah. a place that does that for like, fucking seven euros yeah Yeah, exactly whereas here if you want something that fresh it's like you're paying like 50 bucks yeah a lot of people you know like especially when it comes to like pizza and stuff like most people are like oh my god little caesars are so good little little caesars do people say that about little caesars a single person because little caesars is good yeah little caesars is not that to me it seems like little whoever i hear whenever i hear somebody say they love little caesars it's usually a girl like I, I feel like girls really? sometimes have the tendency to 
like more plain stuff. Oh, here comes a blanket oh. statement. <laughs> uh, that's why I say girls sometimes have the tendency. I didn't the say feelings all, all expressed by McNasty do not necessarily reflect the views of everyone on this flavor. podcast. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, we have no woman viewers. <laughs> True. Oh, true. Oh, say whatever you want. Actually, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I don't want to call. I don't want to call my sister out. I, she's changed recently. Are, but is she the one that you said smells like Mexican laundry? No, that was my dad. <laughs> um, but no, my what sister. A complex family. So uh, when I moved in with my dad, I obviously was around my sister all the time because half sister, dad, same dad. Anyways, but like she oh, had a whoa. tendency for a long Matt time. Checks out. <laughs> she had a tendency for a long time to not ever want to try new foods and eat like a little kid. Like she would literally eat like a lunchable and a handful of Oreos for like a meal, or like dinner. Ew. That's yeah. horrible. That's nasty. She didn't like things that were like, I remember there was specifically this one time where uh, me and my dad, well, my dad bought like a, you ever have one of those Sarah Lee, like pies that you buy? They're like frozen. No, no, it's like a, it's like a pie, but it's not a pie. Like the crust is made out of like cookie crumbs. It's like an ice Ugh. cream pie almost. No, it's fucking delicious. I mean, it's literally like, it doesn't sound delicious. It sounds like type two diabetes. It is. It's very, it's, it's pretty much just like all sugar, like from base to Ugh. top. It's pretty much all sugar, yeah, but that ain't it. to somebody like her that loves sweets, I, I would, I would think that she would want to at least try it. But I think because the, it is a technically a pie made her just like, nope, no pie for me. Like she just assumes it's just going to taste like pumpkin pie. Oh yeah. Oh, and I, fucking, I hate pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is gross to me. You gotta, like, the only time gross, I can ever eat is just when it's just, just lathered with fucking whipped cream. And even then, <laughs> that it's like, oh, really good. <laughs> yeah. Just a big cum on it. <laughs> just <laughs> one big, yeah, big old one big fucking horse load. load. <laughs> yeah. But I, the reason I'm bringing that up is because I know that sometimes, <laughs> Girls have the tendency to want to just eat like kids or eat like super plain, you know? <laughs> eat kids? Eat like kids. <laughs> Listen to the yeah. words that come out of my mouth. I didn't hear like. I just heard eat kids. Well, they do that too. Like, bro, Millions never of kids in one sitting sometimes. <laughs> oh, uh, I get it. Uh, this is yeah, a come, come and puke cop podcast. This really is the come and puke cop <laughs> <laughs> uh, We are changing our name. Come and puke stories. <laughs> Please don't make uh, love that a title. <laughs> you love you love to see uh, yellow yellow money dollar sign. Next sign. To the young, yeah. yeah. What would be the thumbnail though? Mm-hmm. Come and puke. Just yeah, like a big cock coming over a pile of puke. puke. Just just a rope shot and then just a <laughs> pile of puke. <laughs> or like a rope shot onto a girl puking. Like get a get a. Oh, I can probably shot. get that super easy. <laughs> okay, please don't. But maybe send it to yeah. us. <laughs> but don't uh, post it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let us. Get, uh, we'll approve the thumbnail. Send it to us. Yeah. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll oh, I'll let you guys know. I'll send you a few. I'll do like four Jerk or five off. different ones, and then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyways, feel uh, free to use your own rope. I think that's a. Good <laughs> 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 I think that's a good uh, way to end the podcast. <laughs> it's not like we can end it any better way. Yeah. No come and puke. We should just end every podcast come talking in. about our separate semen puke stories. Again. We're gonna have to. All right, boys, get coming and puking because we need a story coming. every week. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go do it right after this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and come and puke. I'll be back. Is that the yeah. um, the next RuneScape skill? Coming. <laughs> God, please shut the fuck up about RuneScape. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love. See, out of this group, I used to be the only one who who played RuneScape, and now McNasty's into it. And now he was the only virgin too. It's like there's a direct correlation. And, and, and has and has McNasty had sex since he started playing? Nope. The the person oh, that got me he, into he RuneScape, cousin. the person that got me into RuneScape ten years ago, is the person that got my virginity taken. So, all right, well, you can talk about I'm gonna that ign- another day. I'm yeah. going to ignore about your that fun fact. virginity loss another day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good story to tell. That's a good story to tell. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just happy right. that somebody else in this group plays RS now. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I'm you top. guys both just die in a fire <laughs> in game? I, I, can we end this so I can log on? I need to train fire making. <laughs> yeah, right. I need to finish my cooking. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for listening to the podcast. Thank you. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're on come YouTube and, and follow if you're on Spotify. And uh, we'll see you next week. Don't this forget is to me signing come. into RuneScape. I'm killing myself. Also, come and puke.